if you had advice for these survivors, things that you would do different if you had to do over again, things that you would recommend that they do, what would it be? Well, first and foremost, I want to tell your community and, and, and you children that I'm so proud of you and proud of your voices, and we are in awe of your strength, and you give us strength every day. So um, that is what keeps us going. Please take care of yourselves. It's a journey that you're going to go through for the rest of your life, and I'm so sorry. But you guys will persevere, and you will be stronger from this. And just be kind to yourself. You know, when you see someone as young as Lauren here, who's mm -hmm. 14, and- I was your age when, when I went through my shooting, so I feel a connection to you. I wish I could take your pain away. And we love you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You started something called Rebel Project. Yes. Tell um, us about it. Some of our peers after the Aurora Theater shooting started a group called the Rebels Project. And we are a platform, social media primarily, um, but we also go out into the communities. And, and we're just, we connect with survivors. So we have communities all over the country, actually all over the world who have gone through mass shootings, and it's a safe place for you to come and talk. And there's someone that you can connect with on all levels. The cost is high uh, to be in our, in our club. It's a, it's a club none of us wanted to be in.